Hello, my friends. Kind of late coming on here today, but I've got your read the Bible through in a year uh, verses from the Old Testament to share with you. <clears throat> we did Genesis 1, 2, and 3. Now we're going to do 4, 5, and 6. If my voice holds up, it's doing pretty good today. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the first things of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is their countenance fallen? And you know, anytime God asks a question, you know he knows the answer to it already. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not do well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? Again, God knew exactly where Abel was. And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. <clears throat> Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from the face shall I be hid, and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, and that's a place you don't ever want to go, is out of the presence of the Lord. Cain went out of the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east side of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. Hey, y'all. Well, let me finish that sentence. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. <clears throat> You had Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel. Now it's saying that uh, Cain, Cain's wife got pregnant. Where did she come from? Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel. Cain's wife got pregnant. 
where did Cain's wife come from? That's something I never figured out. And it gets more mysterious the deeper we go. And unto Enoch was born Irad, and Irad begat Mahujal, and Mahujal begat Methusel, and Methusel begat Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other, Zella. And Ada bare Jabel. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal, and I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing these names right, y'all. I'm just taking a stab at it. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. And Scylla, she also bare Tubal Cain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubal Cain was Nama. And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech, hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth, for she, for God, she said, had appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain, Cain slew. And Seth, and to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. This is a book of the generation of Adam, and the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. <clears throat> and Adam lived a hundred and thirty years, and begat a son in his own likeness after his image, and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam, after he, he had begotten Seth, were eight hundred years, and he begot, begat sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years, and he died. Thank God we don't live that long now. <laughs> and Seth lived a hundred and five years and begat Enos. And Seth lived after he begat Enos eight hundred and seven years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years, and he died. And Enos lived ninety years, and begat Canaan. And Enos lived after he begat Canaan eight hundred and fifteen years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were nine hundred and five years, and he died. And Canaan lived seventy years, and begat Mahalalel. And Canaan lived after he begat Mahalalel eight hundred and forty years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Canaan were nine hundred and ten years, and he died. And Mahalalel lived sixty and five years, and begat Jared. And Mahalalel lived after he begat Jared eight hundred and thirty years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahalalel were eight hundred ninety-five years, and he died. And Jared lived an hundred and sixty-two years, and he begat Enoch. And Jared lived after he begat Enoch eight hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared, uh, Jared were 962 years, and he died. And Enoch lived 60 and five years, and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 
three hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred and sixty-five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. <clears throat> Enoch was the dad of Methuselah. Remember Methuselah, the oldest person to ever live? And do you know why he lived as long as he did? God made a covenant with him that he would live that long for a reason. Do you know what that reason is? Someday I'll tell you if you don't already know. <clears throat> Y'all are pretty smart though. You probably already know. Enoch walked after God and he was not for God took him. And Methuselah lived 187 years and begat Lamech. Can you believe being 107 years old and having a child? Ooh. <laughs> and Methuselah lived after he begat Lamech 780 and two years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were 969 years and he died. <clears throat> God had, well, God has everybody's birth and death planned before, way before they're born. But there is a special reason for Methuselah living as long as he did. And Lamech lived 182 years and begat a son and called his name Noah. You remember Noah? And we just talked about Methuselah. Those two goes together, and I'll tell I'll explain it someday. This same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands, because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. And Lamech lived after he begat Noah five hundred ninety and five years, and begat sons and daughters. And the days of Lamech were seven hundred and seventy seven years, and he died. And Noah was 500 years old, and Noah begat Shem, Ham, and Lapheth at 500 years of age. Ooh, goodness, y'all. <laughs> I can't even imagine having a child at 100, much less 500. <clears throat> and it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and the daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came into came unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same began, began, became mighty men, which were of old men of renown, renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. That sounds like the world today. I, I think today it's got to be worse than it was then. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And make that your prayer that you always find grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man 
and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of it fifty cubits, and the height of it thirty cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it above. And the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof, with lower, second, and third stories shalt thou make it. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, and thy sons and thy wife, and thy sons' wives with thee. And every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort, shalt thou bring into the ark, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female, not cows, uh, uh, bulls identifying as cows and cows identifying as bulls, none of that crap back then. We live in a messed up world, friends. Of fowls after their kind and the, the cattle after their kind and every creep of thing that creeping on the earth after its kind. Two of every sort shalt come unto thee to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, then thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah according to all that God commanded, so did he. Take that word Noah out. Put your name in there. Take thou your name according to all that God commanded him, so did you. We need to be obedient to God just like Noah was in all things, all the time. All right, y'all. I've had a busy day and it's going to get busier. So I'll see y'all this evening with some more goodies. God bless you, friends.